Hey everyone. For today's video, I want to talk to you about the importance of learning how to not self-sabotage. Now this is huge in life because oftentimes we'll find out that we were the cause of a lot of our own problems. And sometimes this is due to self-sabotaging. And when that's the case, the good news is that you can fix it. Not necessarily easily, but once you're aware of it, you'll finally be able to know that you are causing that pain and suffering for yourself and you'll then be able to fix it or work towards fixing it. So this video was inspired by a conversation I had with someone where I realized in my past, in my teens specifically, I was self-sabotaging a lot and I had no idea that I was doing it at the time because I just didn't have the maturity and the wherewithal to realize it. But looking back, I can easily see that I was causing a lot of problems for myself and it was no good. So to get into it, in my early teens, there was actually a few times where I contemplated committing suicide because things just were not great for me. And it was mostly due to my mindset but I, was, I felt incredibly lonely and disempowered and I kind of felt like I had nobody to tackle my problems with except myself. And that just made me feel an incredible amount of loneliness. But I know now, looking back, that it was my own fault. <laughs> it was because I actually, at the time, was arrogant and I thought that I could take on the world alone. I thought that I could handle all of my problems on my own, so I wouldn't even reach out to people. Pretty much nobody knew that I was going through that, really. Um, I may have told some of my really close friends after the fact, but when I was going through it, nobody knew, not even my family. I was just bottling it all up inside, and that was self-sabotaging. I was basically, because of that belief that I thought I could take on the world solo, I actually ended up pushing away a lot of my friends without realizing it. I just wouldn't really reach out to them and yeah, I basically just tried to handle everything on my own. And yeah, I mean the adult me can look back and realize that that was because of self-sabotage. I did it all to myself and I just did not realize it at the time. So, if you are able to realize, and that is kind of the hard part of self-sabotage, if you aren't able to notice that you're doing it, you can't fix it. So it's really important that you learn to analyze what you're doing and the way it's making you feel and noticing the consequences of your actions. Because then you can kind of piece it all together and figure out whether or not that, if you're actually the cause of some of your pain and suffering. So, once you are able to notice that you're self-sabotaging though, make sure that you stop doing whatever behavior it is that's getting you there. For instance, I eventually learned to reach out to people for help when I needed it. And I also got rid of that ridiculous belief of thinking that I could handle the world on my own. Because I truly don't believe that anyone can. Even the strongest people out there still know when they need to reach out for help. And that's what makes them strong. So figure out how you may be self-sabotaging and then stop doing that behavior or fix it in any way that you can. But the most important part is becoming aware of it because without that awareness, you can't even fix it in the first place. But anyway, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.